What's good, y'all? It's your boy DC, and today I'm about to go over some new images from Power Book 2 Ghost that I found from a promo video on the Stars app. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but if you watch Power or BMF or anything else on the Stars Network app, they usually show a promo trailer before you watch whatever you watch on there. And lately, they've been promoting Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 and showing new scenes from Season 4 in those promo trailers that you can see only on the Stars Network app. So today, I'm going to talk about that and break that down for y'all, let y'all know how I feel about it overall. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like the videos that I upload and create, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And also, leave your comments and theories down below in the comment box. Now, in this first photo right here, we see Tariq and Brayden kicking it. It looked like your boy Tariq happy about something. It looked like your boy Brayden came through for your boy Tariq. Now, in this first photo right here, we see Tariq and Brayden kicking it. It looked like your boy Tariq happy about something. It looked like your boy Brayden came through for your boy Tariq. Because from another image that I got from the promo trailer that was released on the Stars app, Tariq is having a conversation with somebody on the phone, which is most likely Brayden, and he's telling him that he just needs him to have his back. And it's looking like your boy Tariq is about to go on a mission in episode one. Most of the clips that were shown in that promo trailer video on the Stars app was from episode one. I, myself, as well as many others, have pointed out how Tariq is wearing the same exact outfit that we see in this photo right here that was posted on the PowerBook 2 Ghost Instagram account when they was filming the first episode of season four. And throughout that promo trailer, you could see Tariq wearing the same exact outfit. You could see him wearing the same exact outfit in this photo right here. So I do believe a couple of these scenes will occur in the first episode of season four. As well as this scene right here where we see a new character standing on the runway at an airport shooting at somebody and i do believe Tariq will be at this airport based off the previous image that i showed y'all and i wouldn't be surprised if this new character right here that we see shooting at somebody was shooting at Tariq. and for those who want to know who is this new character is this new character go by the name of true he is played by actor brandon rush i was able to find some information about him on instagram his instagram account is right here for anybody that want to follow him but his name is true this is a new character that will be popping up in season four and based off of what i saw on instagram he will be in episode one as well as episode two now now in this next photo right here we see Monet having a conversation with somebody and she's telling this person in this conversation that everything she has did she has did it for their family and I'm pretty sure she's talking to one of her kids and based off this photo right here it looked like she at the hospital visiting somebody and I would not be surprised if one of her kids was laying in that hospital bed. I got a major feeling one of them to hide the kids are getting dropped off before season four is over when if I had to put my money on somebody I'm putting my money or Drew or Diana. Or it could be Monet's cousin Janet that's laying in this hospital bed because Monet's cousin Janet will be popping up in season four. So it possibly could be her. You never know. But I'm putting my money on the Tahada kids more than anything. I feel like this is either Drew or Diana that's laying in this hospital bed. And speaking of Monet's kids, in this photo right here, we see your boy Kane punch the shit out of Brandon Brother Trace in his face. And I'm looking forward to seeing this scene right here. I ain't gonna lie. I do not like this nigga Brayden Brother at all. I thought Brayden Brother was going to get dropped off in season three. I really thought that's who he was pushing over that balcony when we saw that scene of him pushing somebody over the balcony in the season three trailer before we saw episode nine in season three. But it wasn't him. It was his uncle Lucas. And I really wish it was him instead because this nigga Trace is a liability if you ask me. But I'm looking forward to seeing Kane pushing him in the face, bro. I'm pretty sure Kane is showing up to Brayden's house to look for Brayden most likely because we all know your boy Brayden shot Kane in the season three finale of Power Book 2 Ghost. He popped that nigga Kane right in his hand. So we all know Kane is going to be seeking revenge, looking for Tariq and Brayden. Or he could possibly be there to collect some money from Brayden's family because the Tahadas also lost their money last season in that Ponzi scheme at Western Holdings after Kane decided to let Brayden clean Lorenzo's life insurance money to keep it legit for the Tahada family. So we don't really know the real reason why he's showing up to Brayden's house to be honest, but expect him to punch the hell out of Trace in his face when he do show up to Brayden's house. Now in this last photo right here, we see Noma and Obi having a conversation conversation with each other and Noma is telling Obi that does he think she want to be exposed most likely talking about her daughter Anya finding out about the stuff that she got going on with Tariq and the whole war between them two as well as her being a drug dealer or it could be about her killing Anya's father last season because we all know in season three when Tariq Brain and Effie went to Italy with RSJ Noma and Obi ended up following them to Italy because she wanted them to do a job for her she wanted them to break into Francesco Lombardi's mansion to steal a recording device that your boy Mecca planted in his house. But Brayden ended up getting caught and held hostage by Francesco Lombardi after one of his bodyguards found Brayden snooping around in his library when Tariq, Effie, Brayden, and RJ was kicking in at Francesco Lombardi's mansion. And Tariq set it up to where your girl Noma was able to take out Francesco Lombardi. But at that time, Tariq didn't know that Noma killed Anya's father. Because while they was at Francesco Lombardi mansion earlier in the episode, Effie ended up seeing the painting of Noma, Francesco, and Anya together. And Effie ended up taking a picture of it and showing it to Tariq, letting it be known that this is Noma's daughter. 
And they could use this as leverage to get from under Noma's thumb, but we all know how that situation turned out. Your girl Effie ended up telling Noma about Tariq's plan to use this as leverage to get from under her thumb. And Noma tried to kill him for this, but it backfired because your boy Brayden came through and saved Tariq's life. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was talking about that. You never know what she could be talking about being exposed for. She got so many secrets she's trying to keep from Aya, you never know which secret could come out. And with her daughter being on Tariq and Brayden radar this season, I do believe eventually at some point before season four is over with, Tariq and Brayden is going to make contact with Noma's daughter. And when that does happen, oh yeah, bro, it's over for your girl Noma. I would not be surprised if Tariq tell Anya everything about Noma. I would not be surprised if he spilled the beans and tell all the Noma business, bro. You never know. He might kidnap Anya. You never know. That's just a theory of mine. He might kidnap Anya and hold her for ransom. Tariq is trying to get out the game, and with Noma being a powerful person, he low-key could get some money out of her. I'm just saying, in exchange for her daughter's life, I'm pretty sure Noma wouldn't mind paying up that money to get her daughter back if Tariq does kidnap Anya. Who knows? That's just a theory of mine that I'm throwing out there. But other than that, man, I ain't really got too much else to say. They ain't really show that many scenes in that promo trailer. They showed a lot of them from episode one, so I just had to come bring it to y'all and let y'all know how I feel about it overall. I know a lot of people was trying to look for this stuff. Some people was able to obtain it. Some was it. So I just wanted to make a video for the one who don't have the stars app because it's a lot of people that don't got the stars app and just show you all these new images and what to be on the lookout for in this next upcoming season of power book 2 ghosts but as usual leave your comments and theories down below in the comment box if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn on your post bell notification button to get notified every time i upload a video other than that man i'm out i'll see you guys next time y'all take care y'all be safe and god bless